The Unite desktop application is a versatile and multi-platform tool that integrates your business communications and increases agent efficiency when using their devices. You can easily download the desktop application from the Unite app's landing page. Open any browser and go to intermedia.net forward slash Unite apps. Click the download button for your platform, PC or Mac, and wait for the download to finish. Click on the install file from your download folder or from your browser's download list. The installation is pretty straightforward. Read and accept the usage agreement, select your installation options and directory, and click finish. A desktop icon will be created and the application will open to the login screen automatically. Enter your username and password and click the login button. When you first log in, you are able to select the application mode, selecting between the call controller or soft phone. The soft phone enables live call functionality directly on your desktop. With any PC or Mac compatible headset, you can use the desktop app as a hardware replacement or just to have a phone on the go. The call controller works together with your desk phone, providing click to call capabilities and call management features. The selection screen is only shown to you the first time you log in with the user on a new installation. However, you can change the application mode at any time in the options menu. Once you've selected an application mode, desktop is automatically configured to work with your voice services account and you will see the main display of the desktop application. When you first open Unite Desktop, you are brought to the chat tab. This window displays a list of all of your recent conversations with other individuals in your corporate directory or any chat rooms you've created or were invited to. Clicking a recent item from the list will open the log chat with the individual or chat room you've selected and allow you to communicate further using the message field at the bottom. When in a one-on-one -on -one conversation, you will see the individual's picture and availability status as well as their name and title displayed at the top. You can mouse over their picture to open their contact card, which will display additional information such as their extension and additional contact numbers, their manager, position, and department if entered in Hostpilot, and their email address. You can click the star next to their name to add them as a favorite, which will list the contact in a new section called Favorites above your recent chats. Additionally, you can click the Any Meeting button to share your meeting information with any contact and open a new meeting on the fly. Start a new call with the contact using the phone icon, or even add a new contact to the current window to create a chat room. While in a chat room, you can change the name of the chat at any time by clicking the Edit Pencil icon or you can click the chat picture or members link to see all of the contacts in the current chat room. Just like in one-on-one -on -one chats, you also have the ability to share your any meeting information or add new contacts to the chat room. If you wish to chat with another individual that you do not have a recent conversation with, you can use the search field to look up their name in the directory and simply click their name to start a new one-on-one -on -one chat. If you wish to start a new chat room, you can click the chat icon next to the search bar to open up the full directory. Add a unique name for the chat at the top, select the users you want to invite, and click open chat to immediately start conversing with your team. The Any Meeting tab allows users with Any Meeting enabled to quickly access their meeting URL, dial in number, and access PIN. There are also quick links allowing you to email the meeting or copy the meeting info to your clipboard to share it on any communication medium. You can also click the Start My Meeting button to open any meeting and start a new meeting on the fly. The SecuriSync tab allows users with SecuriSync file storage enabled to quickly access their files on their web storage application and provides links to download the SecuriSync desktop application on multiple platforms. The History tab contains all placed, received, and missed calls. You can even filter out only your missed calls by clicking the Missed tab at the top. You can mouse over an entry in the history and click the phone icon to immediately place a new call with the party, or click the chat icon to open a new chat with the contact.
The voicemail tab allows you to browse and listen to your voicemail directly from the app and provides the phone number and caller ID as well as the date, time, and duration of the message. Hovering over the voicemail will also give you the option to either call the sender back or send them an SMS message. To listen to a voicemail, simply click a message to open the audio player. If available, you might also see a transcription of the voicemail message. At the bottom of the window, you are presented with the option to mark the voicemail as checked or delete the message by clicking the trash can icon. The dial pad tab will open both your dial pad and the corporate directory, listing all users on the same voice services account. You can scroll through the alphabetical list or search for a contact by typing their first or last name, phone number, or extension number in the search bar at the top. To call a contact, you can simply hover over the contact so that the phone icon is visible and click the icon to start your call. Alternatively, you can mouse over the user's picture to view their contact card. To call a phone number not listed on the account, use the dial pad or type the phone number in the search bar and press the call button. On the bottom left of the application, you will see your profile picture and a small colored circle indicating your current status, available, busy, away, or offline. The status will also display a phone icon in the middle while you're on a call. Clicking your profile picture on the bottom left of the application will open the options screen, which gives you access to your profile and configuration options for the desktop application. To the top left, you will see your picture, name, and have the ability to change your availability status. The first menu item is your user profile, where you can see the information listed on your contact card. The next menu item is Application Settings, which allows you to adjust desktop functionality controls. Under Application Mode, you can change the primary functionality of the desktop app between the call controller or soft phone. When assigned to Call Controller, you will see a drop-down that lists all hardware assigned to your user account, and a current assigned click-to-call device listed. You can only select one device as your primary click-to-call device, but can change the device here at any time. Under Application Settings, the first option is Receptionist View. In Receptionist View, your dial pad option changes so that you can see the availability of users. Once again, the user's availability will be noted by their status buttons next to their corresponding icons. You can search for users at the top of the page, hover over a user to present a phone icon to direct dial, or even use your dial pad as you normally would to place a call. The tab next to the dial pad will allow you to hide or unhide the keypad respectively. Although the default view opens to Unite Users, you may swap screens to view all company contacts or even personal company contacts by using the links at the top of the page. To change back to your original view, simply uncheck the Receptionist View checkbox and click Save Changes at the bottom of the page. Next, you can enable or disable both audio and visual notifications for incoming calls and chats, as well as enable or disable notifications for voicemail. On Close, Keep the Application Running will allow you to close the desktop application but still show as available to other users, allowing you to still receive incoming notifications of calls, chats, and voicemails if you have selected these options. Run When System Starts will automatically start the application when you sign into your PC for the day, and Create Detailed Log will gather log information for the application. This should only be selected when asked for by a technician who needs to gather log files in cases where the app is not functioning correctly. As always, any changes to this page should be concluded by clicking Save Changes at the bottom of the screen. The next tab is Audio Settings. Audio settings are only necessary when you choose to use your application in soft phone mode. Here, we can select the primary devices for both speaker and microphone using the drop-down menus. If you switch devices here, be sure to save changes. 
Below the audio options, you will see the integration option that allows you to integrate a poly headset with the desktop application, which will act as an EHS or electronic hook switch, and enables you to answer, mute, and hang up calls directly from the headset. On voicemail settings, you will be presented with an entry box to enter your voicemail PIN. Without a PIN, you will not be able to retrieve your voicemails over the phone. Here, you can also listen to your current voicemail greeting, as well as choose transcription by checking the box to create transcription for voicemails. Entering valid email addresses in the email notifications field will send an email to the provided addresses if you choose to be notified via email. Checking the Attach Voicemail checkbox will not only notify you of a voicemail, but additionally attach a copy of the voicemail as well. Once again, select Save Changes if any selections are made on this page. The Integrations tab provides you with the ability to check the options for both Outlook integration and integration with any CRM you may use, providing you with rich features such as Click to Call and Caller ID. Below, you will find a download link for a Chrome extension, as well as a link to the knowledge base for how-to information on syncing contacts from third-party platforms. Finally, the About menu is a simple display for the application description, copyright information, and a link to legal information. The Send Feedback option will open your default email application and address a new message to the App Feedback Support address. If you have any issues while using desktop or desire new features, we encourage you to use this option to easily send feedback to the teams responsible. Now that we have gone over the main features and options in Unite Desktop, we will explore making and receiving calls using both the call controller and soft phone modes. There are significant differences between using the call controller with a desk phone and using the application in soft phone mode. When using Unite Desktop as a call controller, the application serves as an extension of your desk phone. This allows you to perform some call management options, such as placing or answering new calls, while your voice conversations occur on your assigned click-to-call device. When you receive a call in call controller mode, the desktop application will notify you of the incoming call with an audible ring and call information. If you have the app open on your desktop, the information will be displayed directly in the window, with additional options to decline the call to your Follow Me Forward setting or send it directly to your voicemail. If the application is minimized to your taskbar, you will receive a pop-up notification with the caller ID information. You can click the pop-up to access the full window display. To place a call in call controller mode, click the phone icon on a contact or use the dial pad to enter a number and press the call button. Once a number is called, you will immediately receive a call to your desk phone, and upon answering, you will be connected to your dialed number and hear ringing. The application advises you that we are still waiting for the other party to answer. When the call is connected, the desktop app will display your active conversation, showing the caller ID information and call duration on the top left as well as giving you some additional call control options. Making or receiving an additional call will add a call tab to the top of the window, allowing you to control both calls from the application. When managing multiple calls, the desktop app will display your calls on hold, and you can click between the call tabs to access the call control options for all conversations. While on an active call, you can use the call flip button to flip the call back to your extension, allowing you to pick it up on a different device associated with your user account. You can use the park button to park the call on a virtual extension to be picked up from another device on the account. Parking from the application will display the parked extension where the call resides on the top left. You can also transfer the call to another user or phone number. Pressing the transfer button will open the contact list and dial pad. When you hover over a contact, you have the option of transferring the call to the user or directly to their voicemail. If you are transferring to a number that is not on the account, you will only be able to transfer the call directly. If you decide to end the call from desktop, 
the call is immediately disconnected from your device and the call is logged in your history tab. When using Unite Desktop as a soft phone, calls made or received are all handled on the application using a headset and microphone. When you receive a call in soft phone mode, the desktop application will notify you of the incoming call with an audible ring and call information is displayed on the desktop window or through the pop-up notification. When you answer a call on the soft phone, you will notice a few additional call controls available to you. Using the buttons at the top left, you can mute your microphone, place the caller on hold, or access the dial pad for DTM of tone input for accessing automated menus or entering pins. Handling multiple calls at the same time also works similarly to the call controller, with the addition of being able to swap between calls directly on the desktop app. For more information on the Intermedia Unite desktop app, visit our knowledge base for user guides and frequently asked questions. Intermedia Unite mobile apps allow you to place and receive calls, chat, attend meetings, and manage your SecurySync files from anywhere as though you were in the office. Thanks for watching.